Over the last several videos, we have focused on directories in Linux, and we've created directories, we've examined the directory structure, but now we're going to switch focus and we're actually going to create our very first file in Linux. And so let's go ahead and list out our home directory, and there you can see our test directory, which we created in the last video. And let's go ahead and switch to that, and then let's go ahead and list out the contents, and you can see we just have one directory in there, the test2 directory which we created in the last video. So let's go ahead and create our very first file. And we're gonna create a text file. Now to create a text file in Linux, you use the cat command. So just type out cat, and then the argument we wanna use is the greater than sign, right there. And that actually means to create a new text file. And then you can name the file whatever you want. I'm gonna go ahead and call this note1.txt. And then go ahead and hit the enter key. And you'll notice, take a look at that we did not return to the command prompt. And that is because we are actually inside of our note1.txt. That's what the cat command does. When it creates the file, it assumes you want to add some text to it, which is a very good assumption. So it not only creates the file, it then opens it for you and places you inside the file. So let's go ahead and create some sample text. And we're just going to write, this is some text for our sample file. There we go. Now, to create a new line, you simply hit the Enter key. And that will not only create a new line, it'll save the last line that we just typed out. So that line is now saved. And let's go ahead and create another line. Okay, and let's go ahead and hit the Enter key one more time. And now that line is saved as well. Now to exit out of this and return to the command prompt, you simply hit Control Z. And there you can see we are now returned to our command prompt. And we are right back in the test directory, which is where we were. Now, let's go ahead and list out the test directory to make sure our note1.txt is actually there. So let's go ahead and list that out. And there you can see it's right there. And depending on the editor you're using, these are usually color coded. So you can see our file, note1.txt, is in white. And the directories are in blue. And I think we talked about that a few lectures ago. Now the cat command does several things. It not only allows you to create files, it allows you to view them as well. So now to view this, we simply type in cat, and then we type in the name of the file that we want to view. And in this case, of course, it is note1.txt. So let's go ahead and hit enter. And there you can see it displays the lines of text that we created in that file. Now there's a lot more things that you can do with files, and we're going to cover that in the next lecture. See you guys then.